All right, all right, all right. Got a funky groove uh, from Aerosmith uh, that I just heard. Of. I can't believe I hadn't heard this song before, but somebody had brought it up to me about a month ago, and uh, it's pretty funky. So I'm going to play the grooves, play the different parts, and just so you know, I have my bass tuned different. It's not at standard tuning right now, so uh, I'll explain that at the end, but I'm going to show you all the different parts, and then we'll talk about the tuning. So I'm going to play the main groove. I mentioned but I got my drum machine set at 87 BPM so <clears throat> so the main groove One of the parts right there. Back to the main groove. Okay, so this this uh Let's call it the third part. Okay. So, just follow my fingers. I'm not going to tell you any notes because I confuse you. I'll confuse most people because, like I said, the bass is tuned different. So, I'll just say I'll start on the 11th fret on the G string right here. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay, that's the, let's call that the third part. There's one more part to the song. I'm not quite if I sure, if, quite sure if I got all this part right. But it's close enough. Close enough. So this is the guitar solo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this part. So, during that guitar solo, it does go back to that other part. Okay. And then it does that twice. And then, during the guitar solo, then after the second time, it goes back to the main groove. Okay. Just store that in your memory bank. Listen to the record original and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, let's talk about the tuning of this bass. I was... Uh, 
you'll see this in a lot of rock music and a lot of different music. I shouldn't say just rock music, but it's a lot of different music. Depending on the singer's voice and the range of the singer and depending on the band, they may tune down their instruments from the standard tuning. Because remember, standard tune is E, A, D, and G on a four-string bass. But rock bands, mainly a lot of rock bands do this. They tune the whole guitar down. Okay? So they'll take, they'll tune maybe this E string down to a D. And then they'll t tune this um, second string from an A to a G. The D string to a C. And then the G string, they'll tune it down to an F. And what it does, <coughs> lets them, for one thing, play in a certain fingering that they may be comfortable with. Also, it's, it's help, it may help the singer's voice. Okay? Maybe good for the singer to sing in that lower key. And it may be a third thing. It makes the music sound heavier. It makes it sound, you know, especially in hard rock and heavy rock, it makes it sound heavier. So when you tune down the instrument, it'll make the it's basically three things. It makes it sound heavier. Maybe it may make it easier for the instrumentalist to play, and it may help out the singer. Okay, as far as their vocals, this song is tuned down. I it, I didn't tune it down to a D, but I took it down to an E flat. So instead of this being an open E, it's an open E flat. This one here, A flat, D flat, G flat. So when I play it, I'm playing it like if I'm playing it in the same fingering. If it was in a, if the guitar was bass was tuned to standard tuning, so <coughs> excuse me, I, I got a little code here. But uh, so if this song was in the normal tuning, I'd be playing it in the same position. But when I was listening to the recording and every uh, recording I've heard of this song is tuned down, so the whole band is tuned down to play this in E flat. So that's what gives it that heavy sound. Uh, That's what gives it the heavier sound. You mix that with the guitars, a couple guitars like they'd have in Aerosmith, you get a nice heavy sound. So you'll see for the beginners, the intermediate and advanced guys, they already know this. They see this all the time. Guys who play in a lot of bands, they see this a lot. So the beginners, you probably didn't know about this, but this is one of the tricks of the trade that a lot of guitar players do uh, and singers do. They, have, they either have the keyboard player playing in a different key or they'll have the guitar players tuned down, uh, that that kind of thing to change the key to make it easier for the guitar player to sing, or like I said, make it easier to finger the the, the notes on the chords, or to make give it a heavier sound uh, on the music overall on the music. So that's one of the reasons I want to do this song uh, because it's interesting because of that fact that you can tune you tune the how on the whole guitar to get that sound. And so uh, that's why I didn't give you out give out the notes because it would just confuse some people. So hopefully, I played it slow to slow enough to where you could pick it up. I am DeLuca, baby. Subscribe, like, comment, uh, share this video, too. Uh, definitely, if you have some ideas and some more um, insight on tuning down the guitar, definitely leave some comments. 
I'm no expert at it, but I know why why it's done. So there might be some other reasons that I didn't mention. Definitely put those in there in the comment section. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Catch you later. Peace.